This is just a short video to show how to use the formula for integration by parts. So I'm going to start off with just reminding you what the formula is. So if you have the integral of u dv by dx, that equals uv minus the integral of v du by dx. So that's the formula. And the example I'm going to use is I'm going to integrate x e to the x. So I want to work out the integral of x e to the x dx. Now that's um, not an easy integral to do just from first principles because although you can integrate x and you can integrate e to the x, integrating the product is a bit harder. That's why you need to use this formula because it's used for integrating the product of two functions. One function is x, the other function is e to the x. So I'm going to take u to be x and dv by dx to be e to the x. Now you could do this, or you could attempt to do this the other way around by taking u to be e to the x and dv by dx to be x. But I'll show you later on why that doesn't work out quite so well. So to do it the most straightforward way, we're just going to take u equals x and dv by dx equals e to the x. Now if we look at the formula, we're going to need to know v and we're going to need to know du by dx. So let's just work those out. So du by dx, that's the differential of x, which is 1. And then v is the integral of e to the x, which is just e to the x. So there's my question. There's my formula. And here's how I'm going to use the formula. Now all I need to do is just substitute those in to get the answer. So the integral of x, e to the x, dx equals, so this is u dv by dx equals uv x times e to the x minus the integral of v du by dx. So that's e to the x times 1, which is just e to the x. Well, the integral of e to the x is e to the x, so I end up with x minus 1 e to the x. And I probably should add on the constant of integration. So there's my answer. Now I said earlier that what would happen if you tried to do this the other way around by taking u to be e to the x and dv by the x to be x? Well, let's just try that and see if it works. So we'll try that down here. So we're now going to try u equals e to the x dv by dx equals x. Well, du by the x, that works out fine. So that's just the differential of e to the x. The problem becomes here because when I integrate x in order to get v, the problem is that it gets more complicated. So if you look what I've got here, when I did it the right way round, if you like, the x became simpler. It just became 1, and then the e to the x stayed the same. When I do it the wrong way round, the x actually gets more complicated. I've, I've got an x squared now, and the e to the x is the same. So I'm, I'm taking a problem, and I'm making it more complicated than it was to start with. Well, if I wanted to pursue this, I'm going to come into problems because <clears throat> let's just try that. It's the integral of x e to the x dx equals uv. Oh dear, okay, it's getting more complicated. So I've got half x squared e to the x minus the integral of v du by dx. So I've got half 
x squared e to the x. And the problem is, I can't integrate that. Of course, I could integrate it using integration by parts, doing it the right way around so that I take u to be half x squared and it becomes simpler, but it's going to be a much longer process than getting it the right way around to start with. So there are rules for deciding what you should take as u and what you should take as dv by dx. I prefer just to think about it. I, I generally want the u to be something which when I differentiate it gets simpler. And I want dv by dx to be something so that when I integrate it, it gets simpler or at least stays the same as in this example. Whereas if I take them the wrong way round, the problem is that although u stays the same, that's okay, the dv by the x is just getting more complicated. That's not the way to go if I'm trying to simplify a function in order to integrate it. So hopefully you found that helpful. Um, if you did, uh, please comment below and I'll do some more videos. Thanks for watching.